had to make a video on this, how to fix your air compressor is what I titled it, because that's what you're looking for because you don't know your problem. So I went on YouTube and I kept searching how to fix this darn thing and what the issue was. And I saw about six videos and the people talked about how 90% of the time it's your pressure switch, which is this unit. So I went and bought a pressure switch. I paid about 30 bucks on eBay and bought a new pressure switch. They said it's the brain of your unit. It's 90% of the time. Well, it wasn't that, it was that other 10%. Okay, so if your air compressor turns on, it went to 125 PSI, and then when it got to the point it needed to get to, it would go and lose about 30 pounds and restart again, and lose 30 pounds and start again. And the air's blowing under the pressure switch with that little pin right there, little needle pushing this little lever releasing the air. If this is your issue, I'm gonna tell you exactly what your problem is. If it's not, you can stop watching the video right now because your issue might be that you need a new pressure switch. Okay, anyways, let's get to the issue. Inside of here, there is a check valve. Right here where I'm talking about. Where your tank is, let me move this out of the way. Right where your tank is right here, you're gonna to have to unscrew this, unscrew that, unscrew that, and once you get this unwound, there's a little mechanism which was, is called a check valve. It's about three inches long. There's a rubber ring in there with a spring and another metal lever. They're all the same, or at least most of them are. They're very easy. You need to clean it. It's probably rusted or jammed or the rubber ring is lopsided, which mine was. So then what I did was I took it apart. There was a little C-clamp at the top. When I took the C-clamp off, I was able to get to everything and I saw it was dirty. So I sprayed it with rubbing alcohol, Q-tips, um, razor blades, scuffed it all out. I got a little flat screwdriver, cleaned it all up, cleaned it as much as I could, put it all back together, together, and then my unit works like new. It was 100% fixed. I guarantee if yours is doing what mine was doing, it is your check valve. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if this video helped you out on your issue, and have a good day.